G'day fishos, I've just been for a throw off the local break wall for a, try and get a dew on the hard body. Uh, threw it for about an hour and no luck. Basically I just want to make a quick video to show this new assassin rod that I've got. Um, it's a beast, 11 foot. So the model number is just down here if I can focus. It's an AAZ11XH, I think that's extra heavy. And KS, I'm not sure. Oh, Cobb Special, that's what that'll be. So, PE 2 to 3. Oop, out of focus. 2 to 3. Cast weight 42 to 110 grams. 1.5 ounce to 4 ounces. So, uh, the reason I want to make this video is I'm super stoked with a rod, but it won't be for everyone, especially. I believe if you can't tie a PR or an FG knot. Um, basically, that first guide, what, how big is that? I can fit my thumb in it. First guide, you know, pretty pretty standard. And then it goes down to micro guides. So, you know, these guides here are quite small. You know, you might, a lot of rods won't be running guides this small kind of a distance casting rod I believe so yeah it's not going to be for everyone uh, I wish they were a little bit bigger I, I tend to run um, quite heavy leader for you know when I get a dew in, on the rocks I want to pull them up I don't want them to run I don't follow them basically I tell them to come to me so I just like to stop them in their tracks and but anyway, so that there's a PR knot. As you can see, it's nice and slim. Um, PR knots, if you're going to cast them, keep them. You know, that's just under two centimetres. So a nice slim knot. Otherwise, if you want to run a uni to uni or an Albright through this rod, I don't think it's the rod for you. Um, just these guides are super small. I'm running, I'm just used to running nine foot a litre. Um, this is 20 pound braid. I think I'm actually going to switch out this long cast reel and I've got a Cabo 80 in there that I never use. It's brand new so I think I might get that out and put some 40 pound braid on it. My old faithful suffix 832. Alright so yeah I just thought I'd run through that. Um, yeah this rod won't be for everyone. So before you, you know, they're about 350 bucks, so they're not, they're not cheap, you know, but, alright, so, the old faithful Berkeley 6 inch swim shad, and that there's a HM lures, I think it's the 150 mil, I threw that around for a while, but where I fish, it's probably 10 metres deep or more, and, you know, after about 45 minutes or so, I chucked on a plastic because I wanted to get down at the bottom. I didn't want to f fish, you know. 10% of the water column, I wanted to fish the whole depth. That's the good thing about plastics, actually. Now I'm starting to ramble on. Good thing about plastics, you can fish it on the surface or on the bottom or on the middle. So that's why I like to run those. Um, Alright, thanks for watching. Yeah, just a little... Thought I'd want people to know. I had no idea the guides were this small when I bought it. It probably might have turned me off buying it, but oh yeah, that's 30 pound leader. So I did speak to Assassin. I think he said he runs 40 or 50 pound Assassin Australia. Um, so yeah, that's 30 pound. I might go. I might get a spool of 40 pound. What is it? Those platypus ones. I like those spools, they're good value, 20 bucks for, I think it's 100 metres or something. Alright, so I'll stop rambling on. Thanks for watching. Happy fishing.